Makes me go, Hi, I'm Catherine with Spin Daily, and I'm here at Beauty Salon in Santa Monica, and I'm with Andy Scarborough, who's going to show me how to use hot rollers. I don't want pageant hair. I just want natural, big curl, softly glamorous hair. So hot rollers are a perfect way to take slept on bedhead and make it look glamorous in no time flat. The first thing that you want to look for is something that's going to have a softer, more velvety lining. Start with this top mohawk section of your hair. However big your roller may be in the set, that's the roll that you want to use on top. This is going to give you a big, softer look. So we've started with a section that's no longer than our curler and no wider than our curler. And we're pulling the hair forward a little bit starting with the ends hanging just off the curler and wrapping those around and then rolling backwards. Now the ends then will tuck inside the hair as it wraps around mm -hmm. and as that releases then you'll have that really pretty swoop in the bang and not like the golden arches. Instead of using these, some roller sets now are coming with these fancy little clips instead. Much easier to use and much better to get a cleaner curl. And look how easy that was to put on. Be sure to roll the curler back away from your head. That's what all the Victoria's Secret models are doing to give them that blown, soft, wavy look. Now, this should be the way that your hair looks in the morning. While you're checking your email, while you're drinking the coffee, this is really all you need for a polished look. Now, if you want to take it a step further, start on your sides using a little bit of a heat protectant just to hold in that curl. That'll also help get some of those little baby ends. If you have rollers that are all one size, it's perfectly acceptable to use those all over the head. If you have some that graduate in size from the large to the medium to a smaller roller, you want to graduate that placement from the top to the sides to the bottom of your hair. Now the torture device, if you'd like to use it, it's just going to go straight on and back. Or you can place it the other way. We wind up with this piece here that's kind of hanging out and we're not sure exactly what to do with it. Pull that section straight up, give it one or two combs down to add some volume, and then take one of your large rollers and roll that straight down. Now what that's going to do is give you some extra added body and lift right in this crown area so it fills out all of the volume when you let it down. You want to have the roller placed vertically and rolling towards itself. So this side will roll in towards the center of the back of the head and this side will meet it in the middle. When you get to the nape part of the hair, it's going to split that in two, rolling it inward again and not all the way up to the scalp. And just give it one light mist all over. And let it cool. So the roller set is going to relax into place in the first 10 minutes or so that it's out. And so if you feel a little Shirley Temple when you first take it out, it's totally cool. Just shake the hair loose and it'll relax. So if you're happy with the amount of curl that you have, you can just run your fingers through to break it up. But if you'd like to soften it a little bit, just take a boar bristled brush and run it right through everything. And the time it's taken Catherine to have her morning cup of coffee, she's gone from bedhead to Hollywood glam.